chance they could meet for the championship tonight. The People's Choice World Heavyweight Super Fight quarterfinals coming to you from Casino Magic in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. The young Shane Sutcliffe and the veteran Tyrell Biggs. And now, number, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we go to bout number 12. The referee for this contest is Freddy Steinwinder. Introducing first in the blue corner, he's advancing now to this bout, the 1984 Olympic gold medal champion from Philadelphia, Tyrell Big. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, in gold trunks, the 18-year-old Shane Sutcliffe. Well, we hear who the crowd supports. Well, after the all, the young underdog, already a story in the making, if in fact Shane Sutcliffe at 18, in this tournament on about, oh, a half hour's notice, could continue on here. The former tough man contestant, Shane Sutcliffe, who's never been knocked down, fought 21 tough man contests beginning at the age of 14, won 17 of them, in against 32-year-old Tyrell Biggs and is going after Biggs. Landing some good right hands. Beautiful action. Sutcliffe all over Tyrell Biggs. Biggs. Trying to stay composed. Good left hook to the body by Biggs. Tyrell Biggs, and this has been a problem for him in the recent fights, is just a beat slow. He just, his quickness is not what it once was. Combination by Biggs. And Sutcliffe still has to worry about the fact that he's not used to taking a heavyweight punch. And that is what, even though know, Biggs is not a big puncher, he does have one. Thirty-two-year-old Tyrell Biggs, former Olympic champion. The way for Sutcliffe to most effectively, I think, fight these heavyweights is to get in, do what he did, throw lots of punches, then get out and pick and choose the spots in which he fights. He can't really slug with these guys. Good left hook by Sutcliffe. So says I, huh? He says, uh, I, 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 can, I can slug with these guys. I'm hurting them. Once again, Biggs throwing the jab effectively. Clearly his best punch. Boy, Sutcliffe is getting there with the right hand. It's the use and hand speed of Sutcliffe that's giving Biggs a problem. Will it give Tony Tufts a problem if he can move on in this tournament? If there's one thing I think, Al, that Tufts has to do would be the jab is landing. Why not double up with it? Yeah, and get the right hand in on top of it as well. Right to the body, and another one by Tyrell Biggs. Biggs has landed some good body shots. Doubled up with the body shots, went upstairs with the left hook. Sutcliffe at 205, the lightest of all the contestants here, and by and large, he really is more of a cruiserweight type. Biggs is landing most of his punches now. Seems to have Found the target, Sutcliffe not moving much. Sutcliffe can't just stay in the corner there. Good jab by Biggs, didn't follow, but a sharp jab. That body right in the shot. body shot. Yeah, yeah, that really hurt Sutcliffe. Now the bigger, stronger Tyrell Biggs is starting to make an impact here on Sutcliffe. Slapping left hook. See, that's, that's not Sutcliffe's best weapon. That's not going to hurt him. The right hand, however, can stun Tyrell Biggs. Fans reacting to Sutcliffe, the decided underdog landing. But Biggs, right now, is in control. Somewhere along the line, the, uh, this timekeeper, I think, has gone to sleep. But uh -oh. this, this is more than a three-minute well, round. They woke him up just in time. Yeah, that's it. Fans Not like that. Tyrell Biggs. Tyrell. Bang, bang, bang. Are you doing this here? Bing, bing. One more. Up. One more. 
Now relax in your mind. Relax in your mind. Relax in your mind. Take his fucking heart. Stay close to him. Stay close to him. Give me the ice. Jesse Reed and uh, Tommy Gallagher, no doubt, with a lot in common as far as corner motivation is concerned. Yeah, although normally not. That's why I'm a little surprised. Good right hand by Shane Sutcliffe. This is later in the round where Biggs' power started to come into play. See that left hook? A little mugging by Tyrell. Left hook by Shane not really hurting him. Round two, quarterfinals, super fights. There you see Biggs with the good work in round one. In power punches, Sutcliffe almost punched even with him 17-18. Actually, Jesse Reed is normally much more a technical kind of guy in the corner. We heard that earlier. But in this case, he wants Shane Sutcliffe, I think, to relax. And I think the main thing he's saying he wants to prove to him is you belong in the ring with this right. guy. Because that's in question when it's a cruiserweight in effect, really, fighting an experienced heavyweight. Biggs at 224. Sutcliffe at 206. I gotta tell you something else. Whatever Shane, Shane Sutcliffe comes away from in this tournament, he's shown me and I would think other people that if he gets down to the cruiserweight limit, he's got a nice career ahead of him. And he's coming away with at least $20,000, which will be yeah. his biggest payday. At 18 years old, he's complaining there to the referee about a low blow and the caution to Biggs and the touch of gloves. Maybe since he's so young, Shane can't get down to Cruiserweight, but I would think he would. Tyrell Biggs landing now with power. Oh, the jab really looks good. You know, Sutcliffe really would be better off on the inside here against Biggs. He should have shown a great ability against Phillips on the inside. But you think against Biggs he'd be effective on the inside? Yes, because even though Biggs, Biggs is bigger, he's got better hand speed. Tyrell's not a good inside fighter. Never has been. But on the outside, you can get hit with that, that right hand on the jab. And, and the uppercut would be a good weapon for Sutcliffe. But she is abandoned. Biggs using the jab, and his corner says, keep it up. Keep, keep going. They're urging him. Literally screaming at him to keep throwing that jab. So now, any fight like this where Biggs gets an edge, a lead, He's in pretty good shape because he can box and use that jab. Doesn't have to stand and slug. He's been the man on the attack. Sutcliffe has stayed back. And Sutcliffe just a little too young and uh, a little too inexperienced there. I don't think he has enough to, to take Biggs. He's Biggs landed underneath with the left hook, bangs the body. Good left hook by Biggs, another one. He's hurting Sutcliffe who backs off. This is a lot to ask of Sutcliffe. Good combinations by Biggs. And apparently it's too much. And Biggs, who was pretty fortunate to get through the first round, having it's much better here in the second round of competition. He is just doing anything he wants and everything he wants with Shane Sutcliffe. Banging with the left hook, good right uppercut. Sharp jabs. Oh, good right hand by Tyrell Biggs. Everything landing. The accuracy has got to be phenomenal for Biggs. Well, if he got a reprieve in the fight with Sudikov, he's making the most of it. Good action. That's it, Tyrell. That's it. They're stopping the fight. Jesse Reed called it off, and, and that's let, enough. And let me tell you, that is a good move as we listen in here. And that's the co-promoter leading in, Don Arnott, who knows Shane Sutcliffe. They're both from British Columbia. But the young man was taking a pounding in the second round. And really, by all rights, he's not supposed to be in there against an experienced heavyweight. Truthfully, maybe not a heavyweight period. I think this young man's future lies in the cruiserweight division. Tyrell Biggs made the most of this other opportunity, and uh, he's going to get a shot at Tony Tuck. How about that? They were supposed to meet last January. It didn't happen. Now they'll meet in this one. Here is to uh, Tyrell Biggs using the left hook and left uppercut. He was pretty much target practice because Sutcliffe was not coming back at him with anything. So it looks like as Tyrell Biggs will wins this one, the only guy to crash the party as we continue to look at his work against Sutcliffe, the only young guy to crash the party with the veterans is Dan Dan Kuda. So 
We're getting down to crunch time. Here's Michael Buffer with the announcement on this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Shane Sutcliffe and his partner decided he was unable to continue after giving it his all. He was a late one to come into this tonight. Let's give him a round of applause. The winner by TKO, the official time at the end of two rounds. Now advancing, Tyrell Biggs. Tyrell Biggs. It, it would appear that Tyrell is not the people's choice right now. Uh, the fans really acknowledge the fine work of young Shane Sutcliffe. Let's go to Bert Sugar. I'm back here with James Bone 